Hello everyone and welcome to a new vlog. It is one week until exams. The countdown is on. I'm feeling okay, you know? I think it's all gonna be fine. I'm just about to go and grab some lunch because I am so hungry. I've just done a live stream study session and I swear my tummy was rumbling the whole way through. I need to go refuel and then get back to work this afternoon. I have one supervision, which is for my astrophysical fluid dynamics module. My supervision partner and I have both completed some past paper questions. And the plan is to work through those with the supervisor and he's going to give us feedback on where we went wrong. Or he's actually emailed us our marked work back, which is really kind of him. And he's written up model solutions. What a legend. I think early this afternoon, I might look at what he sent so I have a bit of an idea of the questions I need to ask him in the supervision. Because it is my last ever supervision for fluids. <laughs> Okay, so my fluid supervision is going to start in one minute. So I'm about to click on the link, which my supervisor has sent me. We're using Jitsi today because my supervisor doesn't like Zoom. I've got lots of screens up. <laughs> it might seem excessive, but I'm quite glad I've kept hold of my old laptop because when I've got past paper solutions to get up at the same time as formula booklets, at the same time as a video call, yeah. And it's 4.30, so I am about to get on the call. Hello. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. How are you? No, we can't hear you. <laughs> Sorry, which one are we looking at? I'm not, um, I'm not sure I'm looking at the right question. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. How do you know the value of N to take? Mm -hmm. It was like a small thing on the first part where you had to sketch the streamlines. qualitatively discuss whether exponentially dampened solutions exist and if so their physical meaning well thank you very much it's been really helpful great bye bye <laughs> my laptop fan was going mad in that i'm gonna take a break bit of a rush this morning i've got a supervision starting in two minutes it's again going through past paper questions this time for cosmology i've done less revision on cosmology because i kind of gave up with this module this year it's literally without a doubt my most interesting module i just didn't keep up with the lectures i'm now on giving up on it oh 11 o'clock quick i'm late oh wow i've still got it on <laughs> had that on the other day <laughs> Oh, really? Thank you. Bye. When I got onto that supervision call, I didn't realise, I don't know how I didn't realise by this point, because I've been using Zoom for quite a while, but the background that you used in your last Zoom call stays on for the next Zoom call. So I joined the Zoom and I had Jesus College as my background. <laughs> and my supervisor was probably like, oh God, she's really missing Cambridge. I put Jesus College as my background when I was on a Zoom call to my friends the other day as a joke. We did laugh and he said there'd been a few other people he'd seen get caught out by it. In the grand scheme, things that could be much more embarrassing backgrounds than Jesus College so it's all right. The questions for statistical physics are really hard. One of the questions says state the ergodic hypothesis. I have never heard of the ergodic hypothesis before. It might be something in the course but literally at no point in the course did the lecturer call it the ergodic hypothesis. I'm probably going to get comments down below telling me what it is now and um, you know they're welcomed but it'll be too late by the time this video goes out won't it because my exams will be over and yeah. <laughs> oh my god and I've got another annoyance another question. Another question has written down some mathematical statement with p's and n's and e's and i's and deltas and it doesn't define any of the symbols. What are these variables? Tell me what they are because you haven't defined them anywhere. You've literally just written down a load of letters. It's nonsense if you don't define what the letters mean. So that's just a badly written exam question really, isn't it? Am I supposed to be a mind reader? Know exactly what the examiner meant? Anyway, that's enough of a rant. I'm gonna go get some coffee and get back to it. 
A bit long, aren't they? Lydia's got some new clothes. They're Cheer, a bit right. long. That's the thing. They are a bit long. I'm not sure they're perfect for this time of year. Do you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't wear them on a summer day out. And Black like heels and makeup done and you'd look quite sophisticated businesswoman like. So I've just been doing more of my stat fizz questions this evening. I haven't finished, but maybe I'm just setting myself too much work. I don't know. I'm just terrified that I'm going to get into the exam and a load of questions are going to come up that I have no idea how to answer and I'm going to fail. But to be fair, I'm terrified of that every exam season. But at the end of the day, it's just how I do compared to other people on my course. So as long as my mark is in line with other people on my course, I won't fail. Throughout my time at Cambridge, I've always felt that I've been behind everyone else. I don't have a lot of confidence in myself when it comes to my academic abilities. I'm not gonna overthink it, I've just gotta do my best. No one can say I'm not putting the work in because I am. See you in the morning, guys. So I've just had my Zoom meeting with the people from the IOA. The senior examiner basically walked us through how it's all going to work, all the admin side of things. Apparently the Vivers we're having are half an hour long and they're with not one examiner, not two examiners, but three examiners. It's going to be so intimidating. It's going to be me and three examiners who are all top people in the astrophysics field grilling me. <laughs> for half an hour and all they've said is it's going to be discussing mostly contextual things and just kind of checking if we have any astrophysics wisdom which you know hopefully i do by this point but who can really be sure yeah i'm just waiting for the soup to cool and i'm having a bit of a lunch break i've just got my laptop behind the camera i might go on virtual jesus for a bit Virtual Jesus is the website that college have set up. Anyone in the college community can submit stuff to go on the website. It's a way for us all to still feel connected even though we're all at home. Hello everyone, so I'm just about to start live streaming. Today I've actually got through the statistical physics questions quicker than I thought I would, which is a first. Most of the time at the minute, I'm doing questions way slower than planned. So this is a welcome change. And that means I can move on to some questions on observational topics in astrophysics. Right, I'm gonna get going on my live stream so I'm not late. I need to get some more work done, but I'm just building myself back up to it. I got to that state earlier this afternoon where every single question I attempted, I hit a block with. I'm a bit worried about the birds outside because they have stopped tweeting at the moment, but earlier they just wouldn't stop. They were so loud and so shrill. Where the birds are is right above my window, which is why they are so loud. They have a nest up there, I think, and I think some baby birds have been born. So I'm kind of worried about that because if I'm sitting my exams in this room, I do not want that going on all day. One of my course mates has just posted on our Facebook group. Just out of curiosity, is anybody else simultaneously bricking it whilst being very chill? And I think that is a very accurate description of how I'm feeling right now. It's good to know that other people are feeling the same as me. Hello vlog, I have done my last live study session of this exam season and I've got a couple of supervisions that I need to get ready for. The first one starts in 10 minutes. My mum has been baking, the oven is on. This household gets through a lot of vanilla buns. They are <laughs> a very good snack. How many vanilla buns do you think have been made throughout lockdown so far in this household? Yeah, about 200. About 200. Like vanilla buns production is a, a big thing in this household. But recently my mum and my sister have both announced that they're going on a diet. And I'm just like, well, who are you baking the vanilla buns for? Apparently, they're all for me and to keep you going with your exams. To keep me going with exams. Do you know what? I do love a good vanilla bun, but 
it's not good if I end up eating all these vanilla buns myself and with the lack of exercise I'm getting as well because I'm revising it's not going to do my waistline any good I'll be honest <laughs> to be fair the healthy lifestyle is going to start when exams are over you know when you can only concentrate on so many things at once and I cannot concentrate on getting good grades and keeping up a healthy lifestyle at the same time you're eating your fruit and veg I am eating fruit and veg it's not like I've got a bad diet and you don't really eat loads in between meals do you no, a bun a day, I have, yeah, my only snack in between meals is probably like a vanilla bun. Unfortunately for me, it's about five vanilla buns, so that's why I'm on a diet. <laughs> oh, it smells good. Smell of vanilla buns. Right, um, supervision time. All right, so I am just about to have my statistical physics revision supo. I was getting weird values for eigenvalues and yeah. Okay, yeah, I got that too. I ended up with a really long expression. Is it supposed to be long? <laughs> okay, okay. It's a system uh, in equilibrium with a heat bath. The number of systems multiplied by the entropy equal to kb log omega so the surface area of the sphere is is not s d minus one but is s d minus one times k to the power of d minus one right does that not have a knock-on effect though throughout the rest of the question <sighs> Why am I always such a mess in supos, I swear. I'm just realising that these stat fears questions are, they're really quite mathematical, which I suppose I should expect because this module's run by the maths department, but it's annoying. I'd rather they weren't quite so mathematical. Like you can have a perfect understanding of what's going on physically, but if you can't do the maths, you're not gonna get any marks. You have to just be able to churn things out and turn the handle on a ton of, maths approximations and and sorry for the abrupt ending but i've got so much footage from this week that it will be continued in my next vlog please do like subscribe follow my instagram and follow my new tiktok i can't promise quality content over there but i'm having fun with it thanks for watching guys bye bye